All right, well, I'm not gonna bore you with the whole story, but I got myself, Bolly, just the two of us, three days in the boat. Uh, we're starting off with a pretty epic little sunrise. We're gonna be steaming for about the next two and a half hours. We've got 600 liters on board, uh, potentially gonna be hitting the shelf, doing all the crazy stuff. Everything we should be doing in this boat. And um, I'm probably gonna catch you out there because no one wants to see the trip. But hey, if something cool happens, I'll just turn on the GoPro and you might see a cool little bit of sunrise or something like that. But we've got one jigging mark to hit on the way out, which is gonna be about an hour and a half away. Be a cool little break up of the trip. And then we've got about another hour steam out to where we wanna be. So buckle up. There's going to be many, many fish on board. I've been sitting on Google for a long time, looking at these reefs and trying to suss out where I want to fish. And I think I've got it down pat, so could be on here. So as we're cruising along here, I've just, I'm traveling at about 30 knots and picking up the bottom really well. We've just gone over a bit of a lump um, I'm just sounding on it if I can zoom out that's what the lump looked like so I'm just gonna have a bit of a scan around here because um, this is the stuff you know like we're out there now this might not have been fished um, could hold absolutely nothing or it could be absolutely loaded so I think regardless oh, there's definitely fish on it as you can see, they're starting to come on now. They're hard on the bottom. Um, so I'm just gonna sound out for another five minutes, see what's going on, and we are gonna drop some jigs straight on that. Oh. Oh. It's a good fish, man. Wow. <laughs> uh Yeah, right. Is that red? Oh, that's it. Oh, shiny! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for 1.5 seconds. Like, I will take it. I'd much prefer that over a valley. On the max? It's not a bad start, good shiner. I'll take anything at the moment while we're traveling. Epic colors on these fish and they pull like mad. Very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, yep. oh, that is a fish. Oh, oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, again. Yours is scary, eh? I've side hooked mine. I think mine's been like eating the half. 
What a beauty. I feel like it's one of your triggers. No. I have to do. What is this? This finger? Oh, it's a trigger in the side. Hey. Very cool looking fish. See you, mate. Oh. So we're only about one reef away from where we actually want to be fishing. Um, did a bit of a detail to get here just because it's worth having a shot. You never know what's going to happen. We got the last of the outgoing tide, which means the tide is running south north, um, which means I'm on the southern face of the reef. And we're kind of just going to be casting. We're in 60 meters of water here and um, in front of us, I sh I'd easily be able to hit the reef. So really epic drop off, um, potentially GTs, doggies, you name it, Spanish. It's going to be here. Um, we're out in the country now where it's kind of God's country. You know, it's pretty cool. We're just going to get casting and see what's happening. But stick to the basics. You know, it's kind of overwhelming when you're out here and there's so much water. But the basics of pressure and current equals bait equals fish. Really simple. Let's do it. Yeet! Um, yeah? Did it just light up? Uh, oh my God. Holy flatsies, bro. You should see how many flatsies. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, that's... That's not a flat sick. Oh <laughs> That's definitely not a flat seat. You might need a reverse balls. Oh, there's one shark. <laughs> Multiple GTs on him, though. Oh, yeah. Good day, mate. What's going on? Come up here for a little look, see. It's gonna. They're so well behaved, day. Eh? <laughs> little like exploratory cast for the first time in a zone that we've never been into. I feel like <laughs> big splash. I feel like we're just gonna be non-stop bending. I feel like if I put a cast down there, it's getting eaten. Let's do it. I'm gonna have a cast there. It does look pretty good. Just a quick casting of the stick bait. Oh, just got eaten straight away. Oh my. I don't know what I've got. Very head shaky, but nah. I'm thinking like Mackie or Tuna or. I have to loosen this drag. What are you? Mackie. Tuna, long tail. Oh. Come on, Longy, come on. <laughs> Do something. There you go, there you go. You did something.
Right, we're just traveling along and we've kind of done a big dog leg on a reef edge and as we've done the dog leg the current's pumping through and it can't turn the corner fast enough so it hits the hits the outside corner which forces a pressure edge and as we're coming through like if you look behind me you'll just see that smooth water and that's kind of what we're looking for um, that smooth water means that it's hitting it forcing the current up and causing like that boil which makes it smooth so first cast there must just there must be so much bait and stuff in there because every cast is getting eaten by a longy um, I'm gonna try and come on mate you're going back they're pretty keen if they're eating a 200 riptide Epic looking fish though. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> Many. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. I don't know, I just did that though. Clean eight. Very clean eight. Oh, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, I'm into him. <laughs> oh, he's dark. Clean little leap, that one. Nice oh, dark colour. Yeet! Back at it. It's kind of like... It's good. There's going to be something cool happen, I know it. Like, it's only about... We've made it to our little reef that we're going to call home for, or base, for the next three days. We've got quite a strange little weather window coming up. Today was an absolute glamour. Tomorrow's supposed to be 15 to 20, and then we're going back to a glamour, so... Made our way out here today. Um, had some really cool fishing on the way. Hopefully we're gonna go into that flat over there and get it done. Uh, hopefully gonna be fine. I cannot wait to dive that. Oh no! You're kidding me! That was my first cast, man! <laughs> yes, balls! <laughs> no! We're going again. Go. We've got him now. In the clear. Nice trap. Very dark. 
They've been playing hardball today. We've tried them top water, we've tried stick baits, you name it. The only thing that seems to be getting them is sinking a plastic literally in front of their face. <sighs> I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> that sucks, balls. It's like right on the corner. Oh no! What? Is that rubbing? It was definitely rubbing. Never cast that long. Dang it. Get. Big coral pod, that one. Mm hmm. Cheers. One down. Fish? Oh, I've got a honeycomb. I mean, a key. Okay, so top water is life. And we've been trying to, to run trout and the other species of fish here on top water, but it just seems that they're either slightly a bit deeper or a bit aware of what's going on. So we've changed to plastics. I've got myself a <clears throat> the Nomad Spin PE 2-4 to four and the Surtate. And this Surtate is the 5000XH. Spooled with 30 pound braid and 80 pound leader running plastics. It is honestly some of the best fun you can have on the flats. You kind of, um, like you're surrounded, it's probably a bit hard to tell now with the sun being low but you're surrounded by sand and you've got these epic bommies all around you and it's kind of just like you pick your bommie that you want to cast at and um, you're either going to get trout, spangalies, all sorts of stuff come out of it so what we're doing is um, it's um, you know I've never ever fished in this reef before still learning about how we're drifting what we're doing we're basically not drifting at all, which is really unfortunate, but we're just moving into clusters of bombies, kind of cast at every one and then keep moving. And it seems to be working now, definitely. So just gonna keep doing that till the afternoon. And um, I marked a really nice little sandy spot back there just to anchor for the night. But until then, let's keep bending. I think it's still squiddly, little squid. That's a trouty too. <laughs> Hunt it. Oh. Yep. Nice. This beautiful little specimen. All oh, bowls. I'm in trouble.
Hey! Is that three? And it's, well, it's two and... That's, Matt's just on fire here at the moment. That's a good trouty. It's like when you have your Barbie and Ken doll as a kid. Little kisses. Mm. I made mine like pretzel and shit. Pretzel? <laughs> lefty. That was a solid lefty too. See which plastic they liked better. Yeah, oh, you... yeah that's what I thought. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> that's a trout too. <laughs> oh, look at his mate. Ooh. That's a big question. He's not bad, Bowles. Whoa! Big showers. He's not bad at all. I love trout. Yeah. Is it? That's a, this is a time, hey. It looks absolutely stunning. So I think there were about a hundred and... I think we're about 140 kilometers offshore at the moment, and it's like this. Um, this is our, or my style of a uh, dinner is going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I think today went really well, considering we this was waters we've never fished before. I've never, never even been here. All I did was jump on Google Earth had a look at kind of certain parts of reef which I think well, what I've learned from previous things like finding sand and finding structure when it comes to reef flats and then obviously it's really hard to not catch GTs uh, they're just a they're like the bully of the ocean here and there are so many of them that you find a pressure point you're gonna find GTs it's just one of those things but um, all out I think the day was pretty good considering we got plenty of trouties at the end there on plastics and got a few really good bangers throughout the day dinner's gonna be freaking amazing and this sunset's just gonna top it off and Bowley brought beers so we're kind of a step ahead already I think that's it though rods are down we're just gonna eat I haven't eaten since brekkie. I had a cookie at lunch. So I am just fiending for some food. Um, but hey, look, we're going to wake up tomorrow and we're not going to do it all again. We're going to do something completely different. So it's all about exploring. And I think that's the coolest part about what we do. So stay tuned for that one. And um, I reckon it's going to be a banger.